Latin story, the actor known best for roles in How to Get Away with Murder and Orange is the New Black, was arrested last month during a Black Lives Matter march in Manhattan. The subtract year old New York native was charged with disorderly conduct and a vehicle traffic violation on April 16th, while protesting with activist group NYC shut it down. NYPD told the Daily News Tuesday night, according to its Facebook, NYC shut it down fights at it militarized policing and racial injustice, called out police brutality and systemic racism, and highlight the stories of those brutalized by police terror. The April 16th march was in honor of Cynthia Clements, a subtract year old black woman who was shot and killed by Illinois police in March after she was pulled over in March. In dashcam video, police said that Clements had a knife to her neck while they spent an hour telling her to exit the vehicle. At one point, Clements' car was on fire and police pulled her out of the smoke. During the removal, she was shot multiple times by an officer, although it is still unclear how or why. In the age of Trump, the racist rhetoric of our country and the escalation of violence is suddenly highly visible to white folks in ways that never had been previously. The majority wrote on Medium, this Cynthia Clements, first of all, was shot and killed by Illinois police in March, Elgin Police Department, but abuse stemming from the inherent law nature of the place, even in the most liberal cities, like New York City, or Los Angeles Macker and Home has never received the attention it deserves from its white residents. The actor said this was his fifth time marching with NYC shut it down since it started three years ago, and has also joined in with organize in Los Angeles. The determining factor of social progress is a matter of political will, determined by people who are not complacent. He wrote on Medium, as white people, it is long overdue that we summon the courage and political will to follow the lead of people of color and show up for racial justice. The majority is due in court on June.